What's up you guys, I'm Alicia. And I'm Mel, and we are the co-founders of Work For Your Beer. Today, you are joining us for Stocked Up on Untap TV, and we're gonna show you all the awesome stuff in our beer fridges. So myself and my co-founder, Mel Fox, uh, are gonna show you two very different beer fridges if I had to guess, and I hope you guys enjoy. Work For Your Beer is your go-to resource for any content pertaining to craft beverages, so that's beer and any other beverage you enjoy imbibing, we're alcohol agnostic, and wellness. So think, you know, nutrition as well as fitness, really anything where you're finding that healthy balance between indulging in the things that you love, whether that's beer, wine, tacos, chocolate, and doing the things that keep you really healthy. So sleeping well, moving your body, eating well, all that fun stuff. So if you're curious, Alicia's probably gonna give you a very stellar description of what we do. I like to say we like to work out and drink. During non-pandemic times, you can also come to workforyourbeer.com and find all of the brewery fitness activities happening near you. So think brewery yoga classes or run clubs, bike rides, boot camps, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's talk about what's in my beer fridge. We've got a lot of our seasonals at the top. We've got non-alcoholic beer in the middle for this dry January time of year. And then on the bottom, we've got more of our all season year round beer flavored beer. If you're familiar with uh, Southern craft beer in general, Hardywood Park Craft Brewery is well known for their seasonal beers, particularly their gingerbread stout series. So we've got gingerbread stout, which is their imperial milk stout with cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, honey. It literally tastes like gingerbread. And every year there's a line like around their tap room to get this release, particularly the aged or barrel aged version for that year. But we are perfectly happy uh, with just the cans. We're not particularly snobby about our craft beer in this house. Also some Richmond, Virginia craft beers. We've got Vazen Brewing Company, which is a, you know, a Scandinavian inspired brewery in Scott's Edition, which is the beer district here in Richmond, Virginia. So you'll see that we have another winter release from them, their Velvet Walrus on Hazelnut Coffee. That's my favorite of their Walrus series. Their Triple Peach Saison is incredibly good. I know that sounds summery, but it's so refreshing any time of year. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's in my beer fridge today. The fridge itself is from New Air. Alicia and I both really, really love New Air's products. Um, and this guy holds a ton of cans. Alicia mentioned we do have very different beer fridges. Mine is gonna be really heavy on the sours. Uh, and also, I have just a ton of North Carolina beers. I don't normally stray too far out of the super local craft beer unless we're traveling and picking stuff up when we travel. The first one here is Bright Ass Tank Top by Unknown. Uh, this is a really drinkable, it's a rum barrel aged key lime goza. And I believe I talked about this on the last untapped episode we did with you guys. They did a promotion of 24 cans for $24. Couldn't, couldn't not do it. So uh, I still have a ton of these. These are the, I don't know what I wanna drink. I grab one of these, still a little sour, delicious. Next up, we've got a brew from Newgrass. So I'm just gonna show off all these cans cause I'm not gonna lie, can art sometimes sells the beer for me. And this was one of them. So this is a collab with Sticks and Stones Art and Tattoo. <laughs> And this is called Self Unaware. It is a tropical Berliner Weiss brewed with Alfonso mango, pineapple, and passion fruit. And I think this is the one that I'm gonna crack open today because I haven't had it yet. And look how beautiful that is. Uh, Newgrass is out of Shelby, North Carolina, which is like this tiny town and they kill it. Everything they make is amazing. I uh, really, really love them. And that's it. That's all I have to share with you. Um, I'm gonna crack open a brew and I'm gonna give you guys some sexy B-roll. So that's all I have here. Thank you for listening. Um, and hopefully you had a good time exploring this beer fridge. Uh, cheers. I think I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this uh, triple peach Saison here. Again, one of my favorites all year round. And um, you know, I'm gonna pour it into my work for your beer pint glass, obviously gotta be on brand. Nice thick head here, and I'm gonna say 
cheers to working for your beer. Uh, can't wait to hear what y'all think of this beer fridge. Would love to know if you like any of these same beers or others that you'd recommend in similar styles. So cheers.